Welcome to the SQL Fundamentals 1 course. A team of IBM professionals and university professors from Brazil, India, the US, Canada, and Romania have put this course together. In this course, you will learn the basics of relational database concepts and the SQL language using a simple library management system model. This model includes entities or tables such as author, book, borrower, and so on, which are related between each other. For example, a book in a library can have many copies. This is depicted in the model. The relationships between these tables are important and they allow you to simplify the logic of your application because now the database can handle any dependencies between the tables. For example, if an author is deleted from the author table, then any book referencing that author should be updated so that that author does not appear in the list of authors for the book. With a model like this, we built a simple application that allows borrowers to reserve books and administrators to add, delete, search, and update books and author information. For example, in this simple application, let's add an author called Ann Austin. So we go to Authors. Then we scroll down and we click on new author. Let's put as last name Austin and as first name Ann. And for the email, let's just use aa at abc.com. And she is in Toronto and it's in Canada. Now let's pick some books that she co-authored. So let's say she was a co-author for the getting started with not net and also a co-author for the getting started with cloud computing now we scroll down and click on create author so now we see Anne has been successfully added to these two books as co-author let's click on search and see if we can find Anne this way as well so let's search based on the author name. So we look for Anne and we click on search. As you can see, we can now see Anne Austin in both the .NET and the cloud computing books. Now let's go back to authors and delete Anne from the list of authors. We no longer see Anne in the list. And if we try to search, Let's search now by the title. So let's say, let's search for a .NET book. And we no longer see Anne Austin as a co-author. If we search for the cloud computing book and click on search, as well here, we do not see Anne Austin as a co-author anymore. This is working as expected, but this behavior was not coded in the application. It was actually handled automatically by the relational database because there was a dependency between the author and the book tables. The application also shows you that you can edit author information. And also you can list the books available, the borrowers for this library, the copies for each book. And for each of these options, you could have shown the record in more detail or edited or deleted. Now, as we show you how this application worked, we also show you the corresponding SQL statement used in the application. The course does not show you how to build this application, but how to use the SQL language and understand the relational model. Take this course in conjunction with a free ebook, Database Fundamentals, for a complete learning experience. Enjoy! This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching. 
To learn more, visit db2university.com.